Hello, Rail fans, and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we're going to be building this AdTrans 220 in the smaller 1 to 1 scale here. And this is what it looks like. And as you can see, there's a bunch of banner work for this one. So let's get right into the build. So we're going to start off with polish deep slate stairs. And we're going to put three of them coming across the bottom middle. Then, we're going to put a dark oak fence gate in the middle and open it, and a sideways fence gate on either side. In front of this, we're going to crouch, and we're going to put a dark oak trap door on each rail, and then close them. Then, we'll come behind here. Behind this in the middle, a block of netherite. Then two rows of three deep slate brick walls. Then a block of netherite in the center. And then put hoppers here and here, and then here and here. Then we're going to crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on each hopper. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. Then we're going to come behind this and take out polished black stone brick slabs. And on the upper hitbox, we'll do two rows of three. Then behind this, we'll put three hoppers. Then, behind that, we'll go to deep slate brick blocks, skip a block back, and do a 3 by 4 so there's a gap of space between there. Then behind this, skip another block back, and do a row of 3 deep slate brick walls. Then skip a block back again, and put 3 hoppers. Then behind that, skip a block back, another right in the center, two rows of three deep slate brick walls, and another right in the center. Then a hopper here and here, and a hopper here and here. Then crouch, and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. Same thing on this side, one on each of these hoppers. Then behind this, three polished deep slate stairs facing this way, open a fence gate in the center, and a sideways fence gate on either side. Then just like the other end, crouch, put a dark oak trapdoor on each rail, and close them. Then we're going to come through on the sides of these trucks, and we're going to put two fence gates on each side in the middle. Then same thing, two here, and two here. Now come on top of these stairs here, with red concrete, and put three red concrete across here. On the front of it, we're going to put an upside down smooth quartz stair in the middle and a mangrove stair on either side. Above it, a smooth quartz block in the center, red concrete on each side, then an item frame in the center and a glow item frame on each side. Then three black stained glass panes up here, right here, three red concrete, and then three black concrete. And we need to repeat that whole process at this end. So three red concrete, a smooth quartz stair in the middle, two upside down mangrove stairs on each side. Cover that in red concrete. And actually that middle block needs to be smooth quartz. Item frame in the center, glow item frame on either side. Three black stained glass panes here, three black concrete here. Then come on the end where the black stone brick slabs are and put two red concrete on each side. Then four white concrete coming back on each side. Then, We'll actually move down to the other end here, and we'll go back to red concrete. We're going to put three red concrete on each side of this end, and then we'll fill the rest of each side with blue concrete. And bring it down till it meets up at the other end. Then just to fill in all these gaps and holes here, we can go ahead and fill this middle with black concrete. Just like that. Then once that's done, we're going to come back down to this side and we'll do two rows of three red concrete on each side. Then we're going to come down to the other end here and on each side in these corners we're going to put three red concrete coming back. Then behind that, four white concrete on each side. Then behind that, a full line of blue concrete coming down to the other end on each side. 
Then above this on the next layer, just fill each side with red concrete up here and bring it down to the other end. Just like that. Now we'll come on top here, put three mangrove planks here, then three mangrove stairs. Do the same thing at this end, three planks, then three stairs. Then we'll swing around on the side with outward facing stairs. And we're gonna do a deep slate tile stair, a mangrove stair. Then three deep slate tile and a mangrove. Then behind that, another three deep slate tile stairs, a mangrove, three deep slate tile. Behind that, a mangrove, two deep slate tile, two mangrove, and a deep slate tile. Then come over to this side and just copy our pattern of stairs directly across. Then we'll go ahead and fill this top middle with mangrove planks. Then take out polished deep slate slabs for our roof details. We're going to make some fans. We're going to make a plus shape of slabs here and here. And put trap doors in the centers. Then we're going to put a flower pot here and here. And then right here and right here, daylight sensors on each end. Then we'll grab iron bars. We're gonna put two here and two here. Do the same thing at this end, two here and two here. Swing around this, two here and two here. Then two here and two here. Now we're gonna come up on this white section, put an item frame here. On the left, do a birch sign and we're gonna do five equal signs, then under it a space and four equal signs. On the other side of it, we'll do five equal signs again, under it four equal signs. Hit both of those signs with blue dye and a glow ink sack here. Then under the item frame another sign and we're gonna put 220 space 030. And we'll hit that with blue dye and a glow ink sack. Then we're gonna repeat it on the other side. So an item frame here, next to it a birch sign with five equal signs, and under it four equal signs. Then on the other side, another one with five equal signs, under it four equal signs. Then hit those with blue dye and a glow ink sack, and then under this, another sign with 220 space 030. Then hit it with blue dye and a glow ink sack. Now, come into a loom with a red banner and white dye, put a horizontal stripe in the middle. Then we're going to make the left half red and put a red border on. Then a new banner, white stripe in the middle again, this time make the right half red, and then put a red border on it. Then we'll do a new red banner and black dye, and we're going to do this bottom triangle, and then another one with the opposite bottom triangle. Then go to red dye and put a red horizontal on the bottom of each of those two. Then a new red banner and yellow dye, make the top half yellow. Go to black dye, put a border on and a horizontal in the middle. These red and yellow ones are for the lights. So we're gonna come up here and put these on here. And to make sure they're in the right orientation, we need to rotate them so that the red is on the outside. Then we'll repeat it down here, one on each of these glow item frames and rotate them so the red's on the outside. Then we'll take this triangle one, this goes here, and then this one goes here for the door. Do the opposite on this side. So this one here, this one here. Then we'll repeat it at this end, this one here, this triangle here, and then the opposite ones on this side over here. Now come back into a loom blue banner and red dye, do this bottom triangle, then the opposite one, then we're going to put a red horizontal stripe on the bottom of both of those two. And then we'll come place those, 
So we're going to come up here. This one goes here. Then the opposite triangle one goes here. Then we can clear those two off. And we have more banners to make. And we're basically going to be making the same thing, but this time in white. So we're going to come back into a loom. A blue banner and this time white die. Do this triangle in the opposite one. And then a white horizontal stripe on the bottom of each of those two. And then we'll come place these. For this one, this one goes here. And then the opposite one goes on this side right here. Now we'll clear those two. We're going to come back into a loom. A blue banner and red die make the top half red and put a white horizontal in the middle. Then do a blue banner with a white horizontal on bottom. The ones with the stripe on bottom is going to come all across this blue section right here. And then above that we put the red, white, and blue ones like this. Then we're going to repeat that on this side. So we'll put the white stripe on bottom all the way across here and the red, white, and blue ones on top all the way across right here. Now come back into a loom, this time with a red banner and white die, and we'll do this triangle across the bottom and another one with the opposite. Then this one's going to go right here, and then the opposite triangle on this side. And then we have one more banner to make here. We're going to come back into a loom, blue banner and white die. And we're going to put a horizontal on the top and bottom. Then go to blue die and put a blue border on. And this is to represent the logos. We're going to put one on this item frame, one here on this one, one here, and one right here. And now all our banner work is complete. So this completes our build for our Add Trans 220 in the smaller 1 to 1 scale. I hope everyone enjoyed this build here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, Rail fans.